very good evening my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is salah speaking so please allow me to share with you this wonderful wonderful message that i have received from one of the clients of our signals group he said here this dear mr salah in my first month of joining the premium group i have made 23 percent of my investment of 350 dollars and i have considered only take profit number one so let's keep this in mind that he has only taken the take profit number one, ignoring take profit two and three. And the really amazing thing is he have made an Excel sheet and he wrote down there all of the signals that we have sent on the premium group. Allow me please to share it with you. So this is the Excel that he has made. And as you can see here, only take profit one. So let's keep this in mind. And he wrote down here all of the, of the profits and the losses that we have made uh, during the entire month. Notice that in the end, by taking all of the signals and with a proper money management and a zero lot size of 0 0.05, I think he have mentioned it here. Um, he mentioned it here somewhere. I think it's in the Excel sheet. Yeah, here, lot size 0 0.05 and the investment is uh, $350 and total profit was $140 and the fee to join the premium, premium group is, uh, is almost $60 leaving him with a profit of $80 from a small investment of $350 and only take profit number one imagine what kind of profits he would have made if he has, if he has taken the take profit two and three this is the ultimate proof that the signals that we are sending are really very profitable and very good signals and if anyone not making profits it's only because of they are lacking for the proper money management or they are not really trading the signals well or they are actually losing because they are trading by their own we have noticed that there are some members who have joined the premium group and sometimes they are losing because they are, they are also trading on their own beside of our signals and in the end he will blame us because he thought that our signals can help him and even though if he is losing from his own trades still our signals can save him and that is of course not the realistic at all not reality so uh, i'm definitely very proud and very happy with his uh, management and his uh, uh, archiving all of these signals and writing them down this is very good well uh, management of uh, entering the signals i have never seen anything like this before and definitely i'm very happy and i'm glad i'm very glad to see his uh, commitment to our signals so definitely the signals are doing very well definitely we are making some really amazing and good profits for everyone so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so let's start right now with the weekly analysis and before we start it's very important to understand what's going on with the euro and the dollar now the dollar is actually gaining some strength because um, Mr. Trump has just announced that the vaccine of uh, COVID-19 is going to be available in the public or sorry for the public by uh, the beginning of uh, November and of course it's not a coincidence that this is the date of the elections as well so I believe uh, there is a high probability if Mr. Trump was up to his words and he really made the promise happening and the vaccine was actually working and we have heard some positive feedbacks about it before being released then for sure this is going to be amazing for the currency the us dollar is going to rise meanwhile on the other hand the euro however uh, now Europe is actually started to face the second wave of the COVID-19. Now, of course, sadly, the numbers of the ca positive cases are increased in the United States and Europe. However, uh, Europe hasn't uh, announced yet any vaccine or any solution for the COVID-19 except for the, for the shutdown or the lockdown. And that is going to be very bad for the economy. Unlike the United States, they are now getting ready for the vaccine. And from my point of view, that is going to be very good for the dollar and not good at all for the euro therefore we can expect this week or actually in the upcoming months a drop in the us dollar uh, sorry the euro usd is going to continue the fall until it hit the previous strong resistance level let me show you i believe we can keep shorting uh, the us the euro usd until it hit the previous strong resistance right here on 1.14914 so that being said let's go back to the four hour chart 
and as we can see we are having right here a triple top pattern tri tri triple top pattern and most likely what's going on right now is that the euro usd has reversed on that previous strong support level right here as we can see uh, in general the pair is falling down as i said uh, it just made a small pullback right here on the support level however it's gonna continue the rise a little bit more to hit the strong key resistance level right here and here and here as well and then it's gonna continue the fall i believe this week we can start short the euro usd and we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit the previous strong resistance level right here however uh, that's gonna be taking a really long time and therefore and since i'm i'm planning to provide a safe signals for everyone I'm gonna select this previous support level to be the target so we can expect to be shorting the euro USD for almost 180 pips hopefully gonna be in profit and regarding our safe zone we can select the resistance zone like that as we can see let me just see how many pips is that 38 we can increase it a little bit more exactly just like that so that's gonna be 60 pips only and the reason i have selected this safe zone is we're having here the good entry at the strong key resistance level right here and here and we can see that the resistance zone is ranging inside this uh, resistance level and not only that if we read the market if we read the history we can notice that right here the market has actually made what seems like a breakout from the resistance however it has reversed immediately and the market even after all these days of rising immediately made the drop and fall below the resistance level notice that right after the below the, the 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 fall here below the resistance the market has made another attempt to break out again from the resistance and it has failed miserably again fall down all the way to hit the previous resistance right here all of that indicates a strength from the level from the bears the bears are going to take the market down with them and we can we can see that right here we had one attempt on one one less attempt to break out from the resistance level it did not work well and therefore we can see that after the pullback from the support level right here it's going to actually reverse on the resistance and continue the fall so euro usd this week is for the short so we can start sell the euro usd at 1.1820 and we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit the previous support level on 1.1690 hopefully it's gonna be a good signal and we will make some good profits out of it let's look at the pound usd pound usd is very similar to the euro usd actually it's um, it's gonna continue the fall however let me just mark for you the resistance level let's look at the weekly candles for the pound usd and as we can see the pound usd has failed to break out from the strong uh, resistance uh, on 1.334 uh, sorry one double three sorry 1.3545 we can see that the market has not actually made any break out of that resistance since um, uh, april 2018 and the market is still uh, failing to break out of that level therefore we can expect from the pound usd to reverse all the way and go down here to hit the previous resistance level exactly right here on one point double uh, sorry one point two eight one four zero so that being said uh pound usd is gonna be good for the short right on one point double three five four five and let me just mark for you the safe zone for the signal uh, let's go to the one hour chart so we can see it more clear i believe it's gonna be good until this level exactly uh the reason i'm choosing this level one second guys okay the reason i'm choosing this level as the safe zone is we can see that we had right here the previous strong resistance and it has already kept its position as a resistance in the past and right after the pullback from that support level we can expect from the pound usd to continue the rise because we are having right here also a support as well so that that support cannot be ignored and therefore the pound usd is going to continue the rise until it hit that resistance level now the reason i have chosen the safe zone to be right here or the other edge of the safe zone here is because right here if we look carefully we have the tail of the candle and that tail is the nearest one to the bearish breakout candle from the support that's why i believe that in worst cases if the pair is gonna if the trade is gonna continue goes against us it's definitely gonna reverse right here and continue the fall however i really doubt that it's gonna happen most likely um 
the pound USD is gonna reverse yes after 70 pips I don't even think our entry point is gonna be reached to be honest with you I believe the pair is gonna reverse right on that previous support level however I just want to be, to be sure I'm giving the safe signal for everyone and the safe zone is gonna be ranging for almost 45 pips so let me just draw for you the color here for the safe so for the safe zone and our tech profit level of course is going to be the bottom of the support right here where the pair has just reversed so this is going to be tech profit level on 1.31812 again hopefully it's going to be a good signal and we will make some good profits out of it let's take a look right now at the AUD USD now as you can see what's happening to the to the AUD USD uh, what we can notice right here is that resistance level on one uh, 0 0.72898 that resistance is keeping its position as a resistance for two attempts right after the bearish breakout candle that's a very basic hit and run rules however the pair cannot really hold that position for a long time and after seeing this strong uh, bullish reversal in the uh, price action we can expect from the AUD USD to rise a little bit more and however it's gonna be eventually hitting also that previous resistance level and gonna continue the fall uh, notice that this is on the, on the one hour chart going to the four hour chart we can notice okay let's go to the daily candles or let's go to the weekly candles so what we can notice right here is that the AUD USD is not actually able also to break out from that previous resistance level and this week the candle has closed like that in a strong bearish candle or engulfing bearish candle and uh, notice that also it was a strong key support level in the past and it was holding the position for a long time however uh, again I'm telling AUD USD is not able to break out of that resistance therefore AUD USD is also gonna continue the fall so that being said, we can expect from the AUD USD to rise a little bit more for almost 38 pips before it actually uh, start the fall, and we can keep the trade running all the way until the AUD USD hit the, the nearest support actually right here uh, on 0 0.71501. So we can expect the AUD USD to fall for almost 166 pips, hopefully gonna be in good profit. So AUD USD this week is for, is for the short on 0 0.73177 and the safe zone is gonna be ranging exactly at that previous resistance so the reason i'm selecting the edge here right uh, uh, the edge right here for the safe zone is because we are having right here on the four hour chart right here the resistance level after this resistance we are having here a resistance and the final one which was also right here a previous resistance and right here as well so uh, let me just mark for you the safe zone for the AUD USD and hopefully also this guy's gonna be a good signal for us for the AUD USD let's check right now the USD CAD uh, please ignore these guys these are actually just was taken I think from the pound USD yeah from the pound USD I really still don't know why okay let me try something hold on let me try something let me try something I I'm gonna open a new window and whatever and let me just apply the template the template oh shit i don't have it right here okay give me a moment just one second so here i have applied the new template for the usd cad uh still we are facing the same problem it's okay it's all right uh, i think it's gone but on the daily candles it's still there however uh, that's fine let me just uh, continue analyzing right here the USD CAD now the USD CAD my friends right here we can notice that the pair is about to break out from that strong key not strong the, from that support level and right here the pair is gonna continue the fall and I feel it's gonna definitely hit that previous support level and then it's gonna continue the reverse uh, sorry the bullish reversal now of course we cannot just rely on the feelings we need to understand the reason why it is gonna happen and let me just draw for you here a uh, Fibonacci retracement actually let me just look at the bigger time frame uh, oh yeah definitely yes that is I have missed we have missed right here the strong key support level on July 2018 uh, 19 and it was also a strong key support level right here and even after the fake bullish uh, sorry the fake bearish breakout candle again that market has went up again above that support level and that support right here 
still keeping its position as a support and the AUD sorry the USD CAD is still ranging exactly on that support level and as I said by the strength uh, that the US dollar is gaining it's not must it's not likely at all that we can see a bearish breakout candle from that level so we can expect from the USD CAD to actually reverse and go up all the way at least to hit that previous support level on 1.3 Eight double zero three uh, three two eight double zero. So that being said, I'm gonna stick to my uh, in, uh, original entry, and we can keep the trade running inside the safe zone. Let me just be sure, and let me just be sure again. The safe zone can be ranging for almost forty-five or fifty pips. That's totally fine. Yeah, fifty-three pips. That that's that's okay. So we can start buying the USD CAD. USD guide is for the buy on 1.30270. That's gonna be the safe zone as well. And let me draw for you the shape of the safe zone as well. And for the take profit level, my friends, is gonna be exactly right here at that previous support level, as I just mentioned. So that's gonna be our take profit level. Take profit is on 1.31317. And hopefully. Uh, something is wrong here. One, one second. One second. One point. <clears throat> one point three. One three one seven. Correct. And we can expect all, um, almost one hundred pips. Hopefully, we are gonna make them all from the trade of the USD CAD. Let's look at the USD JPY. USD JPY uh, didn't follow my analysis for the last two weeks, sadly. However, uh, the direction is correct, but however, the entry itself is not accurate, sadly. However, uh, what we can notice right here is that the USD CAD is uh, sorry, the USD JPY is respecting that strong support, uh, strong resistance level. As we can see right here, this level has not been broken out easily at any moment. We can see that it was here also a strong key resistance level. And right here we have a resistance number one. And right now the market has just created the resistance number two. So uh, that being said, what we can notice right now is that the pair is moving right like that on a strong, not a strong, uh, it's moving on a, st uh, on a support trend line. And I believe it's going to eventually go up again to create the third attempt of the resistance and then after that USD JPY is gonna th uh, continue the fall however that's not gonna be lasting for a long time let's just look at the one hour chart oh yeah only for that um, I'm looking here and I think it's really good time to start shorting the USD JPY just like that I believe it is indeed gonna continue the fall right away we can see that we had right here a previous resistance and that resistance right after this bearish breakout candle is going to keep its position as a resistance. Therefore, USD GPY is going to be good for the short right there and we can keep the trade running. And this is the safe zone. Let me just be sure it's going to be ranging until the top of that resistance level right here. So the safe zone on the one hour chart can be ranging for almost 47 pips only. So uh, USD GPY this week is for the short on 106.304. And let's let's just uh, okay, so we'll not be confused. That's better. So let me just draw for you the safe zone of the uh, USD GPY, and for the take profit level, it's of course going to be ranging uh, or it's going to be set right here on the previous support level. So hopefully, we are looking for almost. 112 pips of profit from selling the USD GPY. So USD GPY uh, take profit level is gonna be 100, 100, mm, 105.186, and again, hopefully, it's gonna be profitable and good signal for everyone. Let's look at the USD CHF right now. So for the USD CHF, what we can notice right here, let's go to the weekly candle. Holy sh. <laughs> Okay, what we can see right here is that the pair is reversing right here on that previous support level and we are right now on that support level. That means after seeing this strong uh, bullish engulfing candle, the next week or yeah, the next week the candle is going to definitely be a bullish candle and it's going to continue the rise. Therefore, 
I have given last week a signal to buy the USDCHF and I believe that signal is gonna be still remaining valid and our good or sorry our best choice or best best, best chance to buy again the USDCHF is gonna be exactly right here when the market reverts on that resistance level and fall down a little bit more to hit the support number one so this is gonna be a support number two and then the pair is gonna continue the rise so USDCHF is good for the buy on 0 0.90935 and let me just check the safe zone it's gonna be ranging exactly until the bottom of that previous support level right here so we are talking about almost 43 pips let me just uh, make it a little bit more just for safety that's actually better I have selected that support level right here so what we can see here is the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost uh, 56 pips hopefully we won't reach that I think the signal is going to be very good and valid for buy immediately once the market reach our entry point and as I have mentioned the buy order or the buy position can be keeping until it hit uh, that strong resistance level right here on zero let me write it for you take profit level on 0 0.92400 so we are talking about 148 pips hopefully gonna be in profit and hopefully we will make them all now let's check the gold let me move to the other chart because I have already drawn it here exactly so on the gold we, what, we, what we can notice right here is the gold not able to break again to the level of the price of 2000 uh, that means the pair is gonna definitely uh, continue the fall especially after the gaining uh, the US dollar is gaining some strength therefore we can expect from the gold to actually continue the fall if we look at the weekly candles for the gold <coughs> This is a bearish engulfing candle and it's obvious that the gold is actually going to continue the fall. I believe that the gold is going to continue the fall eventually until it hit that previous resistance level on 1763. However, that's going to take forever. Therefore, let's just go back to the uh, weekly candle for our car uh, chart. And we need to look now for the strong resistance levels so we can start actually sh uh, shorting the gold. Now by looking at the past we can notice that we had here a strong key resistance level and right here as well however even after the bullish uh, candle right here or the bullish breakout candle the market couldn't keep the position as a support at all so the point here I'm talking about is we had here so many attempts of the resistance multiple attempts of the resistance then these attempts of the resistance have all been broken out by this bullish breakout candle after that we don't see any support attempt at all happened uh, uh, at the same level of the previous resistance the market has immediately made the breakout immediate, immediately fall directly it has fallen uh, before even making any other support attempt not only that but by looking even at the future or what happened later we can notice that that resistance has kept its position again as a resistance and even right here that all indicates a strength in the level of the resistance and therefore that is exactly where we, are, we should actually start shorting the gold and we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit that strong support level on 1866 that being said the gold this week is for the short on 1949.75 we can start shorting the gold right there and the safe zone is going to be ranging in the same level of the previous resistance so we're going to select the safe zone exactly right here exactly like that because as I, as I just told you that is exactly the level where the zone was ranging in the past even right here that's the reason I have selected this uh, safety zone and we can see it's going to be ranging for 120 pips however the take profit level is going to be huge we are going to be looking I think for 5,000 maybe 5,000 yeah almost almost 4, 000, 400 pips of profit hopefully we're gonna make them so the take profit for the gold is gonna be on 1910.80 and allow me again to draw for you the safe zone color so it's gonna be easier for you to see 
So there goes your analysis for this week. I really hope it's going to be a very good and very profitable week for everyone. And definitely I wish everyone the best and wish everyone to uh, have a good uh, week ahead. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.